Hey, what's up guys? This is Fatal Cubes here, and in this video, I will be showing you um, a cool feature in Cheat Engine that will help uh, you hack things easier. So, I'll be showing you uh, the Dissecting Data Structures feature in Cheat Engine. Now, Dissecting Data Structures sounds intimidating, but I'm going to explain it a bit so it's less confusing. Basically, the way games are programmed is there's data structures or objects because they're usually made in object-oriented programming languages. So, for example, there could be a player object that has stats like health, ammo, and whatever else is in there. It's coordinates and stuff. So, if you can find that player object where it starts in memory, everything else is going to be bunched up close to each other. In other words, if I find my health, my ammo is probably located near it. Now, depending on how complicated the game is, there could be a lot of other things in between, but they're generally close together. So, the game I'm going to be using is Assault Cube, and we're going to, I'm going to be showing you an example of this. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach Cheat Engine to the game. So, go to your Cheat Engine, attach it to the game and just scan for your health so you should know how to do this by now uh... i'm gonna... you have to throw these grenade things oh geez um, alright so thirty nine health uh... that's good so thirty nine next scan there's two results uh... so let's try this one first and let's just set this two hundred yep that's my health uh... we're not even gonna try the other one so what you can do is you can right click on here and hit browse this memory region. You can also do control B, doesn't matter. It's going to bring up this screen. Now, this is this is what the code looks like in uh like raw format. <clears throat> pretty intimidating this is like uh it's pretty much the byte data and these are the instructions. <clears throat> So, but we don't need this for now. Instead, we're going to go to Tools, Dissect Data Structures, or Control D. Now, it should auto fill in this address, but this is basically the address of what your health is. So, pull that over and hit Structures, Define New Structure, name it whatever you want, and then hit Yes to this and 4096 that should be enough hit OK so what you're gonna see is the first value is a hundred and then it goes by uh, depending on what uh, the type is it's gonna go down by four in this case because there are four bytes but if there's doubles it would go down by eight or whatever so okay so first thing I notice is some numbers like this 19 so as you can see the ammo in the game is 19 so first thing I would do is just change this to like 25. There you go, your ammo change, bam. 40, change this, let's say 500. Changes my total ammo to 500. As you can tell, we've already found things. Um, my grenades, it says three, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna check out this three. Now it's 1,000. All right, so as you can tell, we're gonna change my clip, is, we're gonna make it bigger. Uh, total health, we can change this to, uh, I'm not sure about this 100 here, I'm not sure about some of these numbers here, these could be things for the graphics and stuff, but as you can see, we already found about four things right off the bat, without, and this, this basically, you don't have to research for these values every single time, you know that for your health, the the ammo is always going to be let's say a 58 offset from your health and you know that your total ammo is always going to be a 30 offset from your health and that uh, uh, this 1000 is going to be a 60 offset your grenades so if I you were to restart the game refine your health value and then you could refine all these values by dissecting the data structure now this isn't the beginning of the player structure because we don't have the coordinates here and what you could do is you could search for the coordinates and see if it closely relates but what you could also do I I have found the offset that the coordinates have from the health and it's actually C8 
uh, just go back to the screen so what we can do is you can minus C8 and that'll bring you back and these are your three coordinates right here now for you guys for different games it's not going to be like this but I just want to show you an example and there you go those are your three coordinates I showed you how to find them in the previous tutorial this is another way you can find where um where all your other player stats is and look pretty close by there's a bunch of changing numbers and you can mess with those uh and just kind of mess with them and the other value I see is 25 for my armor so I'm going to look through for 25 and let's just why not why not change this to 9000 there you go and this may crash your game depending on some values shouldn't be changed just because uh, you know they may cause crashes in the game but whatever this is a neat tool to use and this is what you need for something like making an aimbot and in future tutorials I'll be going over how to find pointers so that you can always know what your dresses is and you, you never have to research ever again and by pointer searching for these things and I'll be going over this later it can lead you to making an aimbot so yep see you guys in the next tutorial bye